I could wear this, but honestly, I think we're a little done with the pink. Let's wear the skin of my enemy. Suits me now, wouldn't you say? So, yes, the Pokemon Center original. Haha, -ha, Cynthia and Garchomp. Because, let's be real, what better occasion than today's battle? Let's jump into it. Hi, everybody. How are you doing? Welcome back. It's you. It's me. This is Cynthia. And she's going to get beaten by our team. So... Let's have a quick recap of our team. We have Bethelda Blightsdale, the Miss Magius with the Spooky Plate, with Shadow Ball, Psychic, Thunderbolt, and Hex. Ozyclyrus Von Genbu, the Torterra with Stealth Rock, Earthquake, Razor Leaf, and Leech Seed, holding a Miracle Seed. Iridio, the Luminion, with the Amulet Coin, with Ice Beam, Surfer Track, and you turn Quadraxis, our Metagross, with Reflect, Zen Headbutt, Magnet Rise, and Earthquake. Oblieka, our Altaria, with Moonblast, Dragon Pulse, Perish Song, and Cotton Guard, Tenitrus, the Raichu, a love song, cause you ask for it. Thunderbolt, Light Scream, Volt Switch, Iron Tail, holding the Iron Plate at levels 66, 60, 150, 350, 60, 60, respectively. We have a very positive energy about us as we head through this door, hear a piano and begin having the biggest panic attack that fourth generation has to offer. So, before we get started, I think it's very, very important that we put probably our best tank at the front of the party this time. So we're gonna save the game. <clears throat> and I wanna make sure that we've got the right hold items on everybody as we go through. So I want another citrus berry on, I think, Oobliaca. There we go, yay. Okay, that will do me, that'll do me. I'm fine with that. I can deal with that. I like that. That's a good, that's good. Right. <clears throat> Let's go, darling. <laughs> Have you been keeping well? Thank you for Mount Coronet. I'm truly grateful. Together, you and your Pokémon overcame all the challenges you faced, however difficult. It means you've triumphed over any personal weaknesses too. The power you learn, I can feel it emanating from you. But that's enough talk. Let's get on with why you're here. As the Pokemon League Champion, I accept your challenge. Twerk! Fine. <laughs> 
Oh, they got Cynthia's theme so right. Lady Queen Champion, we adore, we respect, we put on the peasant graces because she's a woman of many faces. She's amazing. Girl. There's a reason why Cynthia is one of my top five queens of games. Okay, she commands a very authoritative presence, right? So, let's go with X defense. So we've got plus three in special defense, I believe. But now we have plus two in defense. Aha, here we go, right. Ah, nourishment. Nourishment. Spirit Tomb is the perfect Pokemon to set up on, to be honest. Because of the fact that I feel like she's going to sit there and prioritize. Um. Ooh. She's going to sit there, she's going to prioritize Sucker Punch. I feel, but. We shall see. We shall see. We shall see. Just so we've got the survivability, I want to ensure that above all else when we're fighting this thing. So. Plus three. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Although an unscrupulous crit would shit on my dick. And I don't really want my dick covered in shit. Look, Cynthia's a queen, but still, I mean... <sighs> Volkner already got his covered on that from. Just some insurance. How about the Ash vs. Cynthia match? Our boy is officially the second strongest trainer in the world at the moment. Ha. I'm so proud of him, I don't care. All you basic bitches can sit there, you can get mad. He deserves this moment. I love how the anime literally starts her off with spirit to him as well. <laughs> oh, good lord. There is a problem that we're coming up to very soon, by the way. And it's one that I do need to rectify now. Hey, love her to bits, Cynthia's a queen. Right. She'll pop out the first of a many full restores. Yeah, so I want to make sure that a plus four Torterra in speed is faster than Hermilotic. Reason being is that Hermilotic has Ice Beam. <clears throat> so, yay. Give me that. Get on the floor. Then fought another X attack. Leaf. 
power friendship against Cynthia One. Ask and you shall receive. Hello, darling. It's so nice to not have to look at your face. Razor Leaf! Gone. The biggest threat, gone. Gone, 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 gone. She was gonna shed all over my life! There was nothing I couldn't do about that. Okay, Rose Raid, here we go. Most likely gonna go for a sludge bomb. I bet. So... Did you ever see a drugged up Torterra move so fast? Correct me if I'm wrong, it's just Garchomp and Lucario now, right? Name a more iconic duo than Cynthia and Garchomp. I'll start Torterra and me. Here she comes. I can't remember the last time I was put in a corner like this. I can't remember the last time I was put in a corner like this. She says, get very excited. Queen, okay. We're fine. I can't let this end yet. This match is much too fun to let it end this easily. Leech Seed. I should've just gone for Earthquake again. She already used a Focus Sash. Eh, I want HP. I'm petty. I'm spiteful, I'm petty. Give me back what's mine. You owe me for the homework assignments. I'm running a goddamn letter. No, running an old charm around. And then checking out some books. You do it! Hmm. Game set and match, Queenie. Game set and McFucking match. Me to your mesh, yes! And we'll get rid of Magnet Rise since I literally have Magnet Rise as a contingency just in case we had to do a Metagross versus Garchomp so that I could dodge Earthquake. To Nitrous Groot to level 61. Just a few minutes ago, you were the most powerful challenger. And just now, you became the most powerful of all the trainers. You are our newest champion. Yay. That was excellent. Truly an outstanding battle. You gave the support your Pokémon needed to maximize their power, and you guided them with certainty to secure victory. You have both passion and calculating coolness. Together, you and your Pokémon can overcome any challenge that may come your way. Those are the impressions I got from our battle. I'm glad that I got to take part in the crowning of Sinnoh's new champion. Now then, step onto the lift. The room ahead 
is the Hall of Fame. Last battle was splendid. <gasps> oh, hello, Professor Rowan. <laughs> A child I enlisted for my Pokedex project has come this far. It's only natural that I come and witness their crowning achievements. Dawn, I shouldn't call you a child anymore. You've grown into a real champion. Professor, you still enjoy the enthusiasm kids bring to your research, don't you? So, this way please, Dawn. Professor Rowan, I need you over here as well. I'm so proud of us. Cheesing Cynthia with X items. It's been a long while since I last entered this room. If the last time you were here was when I became champion, then yes, that would be quite a long time ago. Dawn, welcome to the Hall of Fame. Your names will be recorded for posterity here. What you are leaving are the memories of your adventure so far. It's time to record your names, you and your Pokémon. Remember your Pokémon are partners that grew with you through many challenging battles. This machine will make a permanent record of your achievement. Hey. Ozzy Clyras, start together, finish together. Bethelda. Iridio Metagross Quadraxis Oobliaca Tenitrus And me! And together we were The Magnificent Seven The Seven Deadly Sins The Whore Cruxes. <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna reference some transphobic shit, sob that. That's why I'm calling it whore. Eh, crux. Anyway. League champion. Congratulations. Whew. Nah, shut y'all's asses up. We've earned this moment. Capture. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. A diamond. <sighs> well, that's been a long time coming. Good god damn. Woo! Okay. Right. Overall thoughts. People wanted a platinum remake. They should have asked for a platinum remake. They want they said, oh, we want a brilliant diamond. We we want a diamond and pearl remake. They get a diamond and pearl remake, and then they sit there with sad, like shocked Pikachu face, like. Like, no, you wanted a Platinum remake. This is why when, because it's not an if, it's a when. When the Generation 5 games get remade, I want a Generation 5 remake. I don't want a Black and White remake. I don't want a Black and White 2 remake. I want a Generation 5 remake. This means I want everything in one package. I want literally the game to finish with ends farewell, credits roll, we fade to whatever colour, like black or white. No, we'll, we'll pull out from a cloud and we'll see N flying through the sky on whatever fucking Pokemon. We are so cute. We are so cute. Sa. Yes, sir. That's my girl. Um, We'll see him pull, like, we'll see him fly off on his dragon. Daytime turns to night. Nighttime turns to day. Clouds form in the skies, we pan down, we see Aspertia City. We get the text two years later. And we pick up as a halfway point. Um, new trainer, new story. The events of Black and White 2 unfold. You build an even better team than uh, what you had for the first half of the game. But here's the caveat. You get to fight your first half of the team as a secret super boss, like the first half of your game, 
Like, the Hilbert Hilda, you get to fight them as a secret super boss. That'd be sick. That'd be sick. Love to see it. Love to see, I'd love to see that. Not gonna lie, I would adore to see that. I would kill for that. Of course, like, everything comes back, you know, Champions Tournament, you know, Pokestar Studios. All of that. All of that comes back. Yes, bitch. Queen, Savage Queenery, Savage Queenery, Savage Queenery, Cynthia the Queen, Icon, Graceful, Regal, Refined, Opulent. I like that outfit, that's a cute outfit, Dawn. Oh, girl. Material girl with a Chanel now boots. Oh my god, there she goes. Oh, is this her summer outfit? Because I know Lucas got one and it was like really, really, really cute. Because I know you get a summer outfit when you finish the main story. I think a big problem that people have with this is that it doesn't look like Sword and Shield, despite the fact that people bitched and whined about how Sword and Shield looked. It's like, pick a side. They wanted a Diamond and Pearl remake. They got a Diamond and Pearl remake, but then they rejected it. That's my man! <gasps> oh, They're my girls! That's my girl, that's Fantina there, that's my girl. Material girl with Chanel now dress. Baddies are real bitches because they know she's the best. The Alga motif, I like to see it. You can see us off Mesprit. Yay! Hi! Oh, you guys are so cute! Pick a favorite, mine's Azelf. My cousin's is Mesprit. He has a shiny Mesprit. He was lucky enough to get one of the Max Raid adventures. Hey mama, yes I came home cause I am the champion Hey mama, let's get a meal on, let's go yeah mama Here it comes masterclass, we got the show Rewind, yeah yeah And thus ends the story of Dawn But the post game is just beginning We still have Mythicals to catch We still have two more trainers to help on their journeys Buck and Marley, we still have a Pokedex to see and fill all of the stuff and things for, the, the Dex entries for, so we should start by checking on that, actually. Yay. Oh! And I- oh! Oh! Well now. We've seen 150. I'm guessing we're just missing Palkia. Yeah, just missing Palkia. Bit. Hmm. Door. Barry came looking for you a little while ago. I don't know what it was about, but he said he was wanting to get you shitting about some ship that was at Snow Point City. The ring light is in the way of like a quarter of the text box, and I'm not moving it because I like this light, so there we go. You know how impatient he is. He was gone before I could ask. Anyway, how's it going, kid? Is your project for the professor coming along? Yes, mother, it is. Thank you for asking. So, while we take care of that, we're gonna immediately fly up Celestic Town. Yay! And we need to go visit the Elder's house. So, we go here, here, and there's a book, I believe. Or is it her? Ah, it's an old book. You began reading it. When that Pokemon was born, intelligence bloomed among us, enriching our lives. 
when that Pokemon was born, emotions bloomed among us, giving us joy and sorrow. When that Pokemon was born, willpower bloomed among us, spurring us into action. Why, hello, you look well. Oh, I've done some research of my own since that spot of trouble from last time. Mount Coronet acting up had me very concerned too. Well, this is what I found in the shrine. A book. It's quite old. See for yourself. It reads... Palkia, the Pokemon that binds spatial dimensions. It seems that there were two Pokemon in ancient Sinnoh. They respectively stood as symbols of time and spatial dimensions. And with that, we've now done everything we needed to do so we can go to Professor Rowan and turn around and get the National Dex. We fought every single trainer that we needed to fight to fill up every single page in the Pokedex. Now we can get our National Dex, a feature that has not been seen in the games since Generation, technically since Generation 4, because of the fact that you don't get like a full-on official national, actually Generation 6, because it is listed in there, it's like um, Sea Kalos, Mountain Kalos, Coastal Kalos, and then National, I think. So anyway, Generation 6. Generation 7, I don't think it had one specifically. Then you've got Generation 8, which... <sighs> We're not opening that can of worms today, okay? That's not what we're here to do. Oh, Dawn, you've come to show me the progress on your Pokedex? Hmm, so you've seen 151 Pokemon. Bravo, Dawn, you've recorded all the Pokemon of Simnoh into your decks. This will help immeasurably with my studies of Pokemon evolution. Greetings, Professor Rowan. It's been a very long time. I'll tell you, Sinnoh certainly is a long trip from Kanto. Of course, if it means meeting a new Pokémon, there's no distance too great for the likes of us to travel. Oh, if it isn't my old colleague, Professor Oak. I should have expected as much from the world's authority on Pokémon. We always used to joke, where there are Pokémon, you'll find Oak. It's good to see that hasn't changed one bit. Professor Oak, let me introduce to you my young assistant. This youngster has filled every page of the Sinnoh Pokedex for me. Ah, well, very glad to meet you. As you've heard, my name is Oak. I've been hearing a great deal about you from Professor Rowan lately. He's been exuberant in praise about a fantastic young trainer. I see that you live up to... No, that you've surpassed his praise. You've also got an impeccable sense of timing. You see, I had an errand to run for Professor Rowan on my visit here. He asked me to bring the data for the National Pokedex. So, since you're here, let me upgrade your Pokedex with the National Mode. After all, there are many kinds of Pokémon in this world of ours. Your Pokedex was upgraded with the National Mode. I'm afraid it won't be easy to complete the National Pokedex. However, I'm sure you will make an honest attempt on our behalf. Have no fear. Dawn will get the job done. So you're gonna have to miss me with that shit. I am done with this game. <laughs> no, but for real, we're gonna catch some mythicals, we're gonna help them two basic bitches, and then we're gonna call it wraps. Yay. By the way, Professor Oak, what compelled you to visit this region? Ah, yes, I've heard that Ramanus Park is now open. If I recall correctly, it's at the end of Route 221. Ramanus Park has a special system that affects every... Nope, that attracts every imaginable kind of Pokémon from every region. I've come to make certain that system is operating properly. Dawn, you should make an effort to visit Ramanus Park too. Whoops, I'll be late for my meeting if I don't get going. Okay, it was a pleasure seeing the both of you. Bye-bye now. Off he goes, as busy as ever. I have a gift here as your reward for completing this Sinnoh Pokedex. Pokebreda. 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 This is how you're gonna chain a shiny. This is how you're gonna chain a shiny. This is how you're gonna chain a shiny. Chain a chain a chain a shiny. Chain a chain a chain a shiny. Chain a chain a shiny. 
You put the Poke Radar in your bag's key items pocket. That's the Pokemon Radar, or just Poke Radar for short. Use it, and it will indicate patches of grass where Pokemon are lurking. I've prepared that to help my field assistants put together the Sinnoh Pokedex, but you took care of it. I'm sure it will be useful for your goal of filling the National Pokedex. Gee. Thanks. So. Oh. Now, because we have the National Dex. Hey there, it's been a while. When I heard that you defeated Elite Four and entered all of Fame, I rushed straight here to congratulate you. I mean it, great job. Oh, and other gym leaders are really happy for you too. But you know, we gym leaders aren't gonna take this lying down. Like, losing to you were rough on all of us, yet we still have our pride as Sinnoh's eight gym leaders. Now we're all determined to beat you this time. So if you don't mind, could you give us all another chance for your Pokemon battle? We'll each be waiting for you at our own gyms. You know where to find me, Oberg Gym. So since we've got the National Dex, the Gym Leader rematches have been unlocked. Each Gym Leader has a specific focused team, Rourke, Sandstorms, for instance, Gardenia, Sunny Day, um, Maylene, I forget, I think it's like stat moves, powering up, other shit, Crash Awake, Rain, uh, Fantina, Bulky ghosts. I don't fucking know. And trying to cripple you down, like status conditions and shit. I guess I don't. I don't remember. Candice. I know I'm missing Byron. I'm gonna get to him in a second. Byron. I think it's like Sandstorm or whatever the fuck. Like Rock, because obviously Rock and Steel are not affected by Sandstorm damage. Uh, Candice. Um, Hail and Snow Cloak and evading bitches in like that shit because fuck Frost Lass. And then Voltner. Rain in the thunder, like thunder in the rain. Yeah. It's pretty cool. And then you've got your Elite Four Tier 1 rematches. So this time they use the Platinum teams, like Pokemon Platinum teams, which is great. We like to see it. And you've got the... I should probably talk and play, but I was, I was always horrendous at multitasking. Um, um, yeah, Cynthia also uses her team from Platinum. And then once you've beaten those, once you've beaten the Elite Four, you will unlock the Tier 3 matches for Cynthia and um, the Elite Four. And Cynthia's basically that hidden super boss. Not really hidden, but like that fucking bitch. Hey, Queen, how you doing? And she is amazing. Oh, hey Dom, what took you so long? I'm finding you a hundred million. Listen up, I'm gonna become the greatest trainer ever. That's why I'm here, to toughen myself up and my Pokemon. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help overhearing that. Be the greatest trainer ever? That's gonna be real tough, cause you're talking about me. To prove it, I'm going to the volcano right now. You look puzzled. You really don't know anything, do you? All right, I'll tell you. This is the battle zone. Okay, at its far end is a volcano, and deep inside that volcano, there's supposed to be a treasure. So, what's the big deal? If I find that treasure first, that'll make me the greatest trainer ever? Then that's what I'll do, Don. And you too, stranger. That treasure is mine. But before that, I'm going to the battle tower. See ya! <sighs> that guy just can't stay put, can he? Anyways, howdy, I'm Buck. And if that punk thinks he's gonna beat me, he's got another thing coming. So do you know that zippity dippity trainer? You should chase after that guy and tell him not to underestimate the volcano. Oh, but you know what? You better shape up at the battle tower first. I don't like your chances of getting the volcano otherwise. Be seeing you. We can immediately explore this because we have the national decks. <laughs> super Rod. There you go. And this is the guy you talk to when you want the Super Rod. Yay. Super Rod is post-game only. 
And then on Saturdays and Sundays, Barry will be stood around here ready to be like before. Today is what day is it? Monday. Welcome to the battle park. It's your first time, isn't it? Please step this way. We're maids. So, this is your first time. You need to be given a card. Point cards are used only in the battle park. Here you go. Yay. Oh, yay. You need information on that point card? Ask the receptionist next to me. I'm the one to ask if you need any information on the facilities here at the battle park. For information on the battle rules used at the battle park, please ask the receptionist across from me. Good luck! It's literally just Battle Tower, and it's a load of shit, because we could have had Battle Frontier. What the? Oh, oops. Sorry about that. I was in a rush. Oh. oh, wait a second. Aren't you... You're Dawn from Twinleaf. Wow, that brings back memories. So, if you're here, he can't be far behind. <laughs> this should be fun. See ya. What the? Oh, hey, Dawn. You came to the Battle Tower too, huh? I decided to see how I measure up before going to Stark Mountain. But that guy you were just talking to... Nah, it's alright. I got here on my own power. It won't take long before I see him. See you, Dawn. I'm gonna toughen up from here. Welcome one, welcome all, to the Battle Tower. But we really don't give a shit about that and we're not doing it in this Let's Play, so don't worry about it. Basically, it's a string of battles, um, seven consecutive matches. You get to parade your way through them all if you have good battling knowledge and prowess. And you get to have an easy time. It's not fucking easy at all. And eventually, when you get good enough, you'll be able to unlock the Masters Division, or whatever the fuck it's called, where you get to take on iconic characters from Generation 4. But... For now... What we're gonna do is we're gonna make our way up to the survival area, and then we'll call it an episode. And welcome to the survival area. It's been a long time coming, but we're finally here. Yay. Right. <sighs> Yay. And that is as good a place as any to end it for the main story of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Next time when we come back, we're going to be pick, picking up right where we left off, which is on the way to Stark Mountain, taking care of Buck's side quest, where we'll help him get through the mountain. And then, of course, from there, we need to go over to Victory Road to the post-game bit so we can have our encounter with Marley. Then we need to help her get through that. Then we'll move over to Canalave City, track down Darkrai on New Moon Island, Head over to the... We might as well take care of Flower Paradise, actually, and get Shaman while we're over at uh, Victory Road. And then, once we've taken care of Darkrai and Shaman, we have the Azure Flute, so we will be finishing off the entire Let's Play with a confrontation with Divinity itself. But until then, look after yourselves, look after each other, and I will see you all very soon. Catch you guys later. Goodbye.